Hello, my name's Peter Cole, but you can call me Parent Power Pete. Why Parent Power Pete? Because I believe that I can give you, the parent of a more autistic child, more power to make a difference than you believe possible. And when I say um, parent, I also mean grandparent or carer. The strategies I'm offering you here, you won't see anywhere else. So let's go to the three things that experts get wrong about mild autism. Incorrect notion number one. Autistic people are quite different from the rest of us. Nope, all humans are autistic. Does that come as a surprise? Yes, we are all autistic, every one of us. It's just a matter of degree. If you have ever withdrawn into your own world for some rest and recuperation, recharging, and of course you have because we all do, then you are to that degree autistic. So there's not that much difference between all of us, certainly not as much as is talked about. Does that knowledge make any difference when it comes to real world training? Yes. It means we first and foremost consider our children as children and not some incomprehensible entity with unknowable needs. Our children's needs are the same as us because basically they are the same. So if we know that our children are like us and they do have social interaction needs like us, we can use that knowledge to encourage them out of their own worlds using our real world strategies and soon they'll become more like us. And you can use those techniques for your child's benefit. Incorrect notion number two. You can't train autistics all the same way because they're all different. Nope, they all have one simple central main trait. And that main trait is that they're all more withdrawn from the real world than us. So our main aim with real world training is to draw them out of their own world and steer them towards the real world in a systematic way. And because we're clearer on our aims, we get more targeted and more effective results. And the third incorrect notion, autistic people are locked into their odd behaviors forever. There is no cure. Wrong again, with the right training, your child's Odd behaviours can diminish to nothing, or at least to the point of not standing out. Your child can be far more socially connected, less obsessive and so forth, down to the point that in a crowd it won't be noticeable. So come and have a look at what the real world training has to offer by clicking on the website link below. And see how you can give your child better options in his or her future life. So in summary, mildly autistic people are not a separate species, can be taught with the same training techniques, and can become like us, basically, or very much closer to it. How can I say these things? Because of the new advances in neuroscience, like this international bestseller of many millions of copies, showing us just how flexible our brains can be. Now we know much better how this flexibility works, we can learn to train our brains to be much more the way we want them to be. And we also have new scanning and other technologies to show us just how our brains are working. And we have people like Dr. Henry Markram, who while using these new technologies, has formulated his intense world theory on autism, which is the same theory on which all the real world training is based. So because we have new ways of looking at behaviors, like mild autism, we also have new directions in which to go. But I think I'd better answer some questions you're probably asking yourself right now. Number one, who am I? Number two, what would I know? And number three, what's that funny accent? Well, number one, I'm the parent of a young chap who's becoming more neurotypical, as they call it every day. For example, he no way qualifies for any school support anymore. Number two, I've been immersed in mild autism now for the last 10 years, decade. I've read all the popular books and I've got very much involved in the technical side of things. But importantly, I've also been involved in all the practical things to do with mild autism, from the special schools to the play groups, to the speech therapy, to the sports training, all those practical things. And over that time, I've carefully observed a range of mild autistic kids and their behaviors, not just my own boy. And where others see differences, I see one core similarity, and that's withdrawal. The reduction of which is the main aim of parent power real world training. 
My experience began by being thrown into mild autism, just like you. And like you, I didn't start with theory. The result is being free of those theoretical constraints, some of which I consider to be wrong and unhelpful, I can now offer you a new understanding, a practical understanding of mild autism. Since we are immersed in mild autism 24-7, we have an understanding you can't get anywhere else. And I'm here to help you harness your parent power more effectively. And number three, what's the accent? It's Australian. G'day mate, which means hello. Anytime you feel like it, go have a squiz, Australian expression, at the website. On that website, you'll be able to do things like this. There's the Mild Autism site and a range of autistic behaviours as described. You can click on any one you like to get more detail on why that behaviour is happening and how that behaviour is linked to withdrawal for future remedy. There's the scroll bar to look at more detail on each one and the close button at the top. Now, how would you like to experience what it's like to be in a more autistic world? If you'd like to experience mild autism better yourself, you can click on this section and doing this will give you a better feeling for what your child is actually experiencing. Because if you can't understand what your child is going through, how can you offer solutions? The last thing I'd like to do is answer your unspoken question. Can my child really improve this much? Well, rather than take my advice for it, I'll refer you to this guy, Tony Atwood, whose book, The Complete Guide to Asperger's Syndrome, a uh, rather pretentious title I've always thought, on the fourth last page, he says quite clearly, it is possible for some people to become late socialisers. He has seen hundreds of Asperger's or mild autism people in his time over the decades, so if he says it's possible, I think it's reasonable to believe him. And my aim through this real world training is to help more young people, hopefully like yours, become good socialisers and hopefully not too late. See you on the site.